everyone. Today we will be determining the sum of infinite geometric series. So we already talked about the finite geometric series. There's a video for that. I will put the uh, link of the video in the description box below. But we have this equation for a finite geometric series to find the sum S sub N. Now our task today is to determine what is the formula for an infinite geometric series. So that means it doesn't stop. So there's an example right here. So um, the first thing that we are going to uh, remember first is this part right here. So if we are looking for this part here, this refers to how many times the R was multiplied. So um, how many times the r is multiplied or uh, the, the multiplier okay now there are some considerations that we have here um, because if we have our r to be equal to one one minus one is a zero and so if the denominator is zero then the equation or the, the the expression would become undefined so the value for r should not should not be one but what happens if the value of r is less than one so we will evaluate um, when r is the absolute value of r is less than one and whenever the value of r is greater than zero so the numbers are between 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, or um, 0 0.9. So it should, the R is greater than 0, and the R is less than 1. Again, we're not, we're not considering 1, because if it's, if it's 1, this equation would not work, because that would become 0, and that would become undefined. So let's, let's, uh, uh, let's better uh, look at this example right here to better understand this. Um, let's find the R for this one. So the R, again, is always uh, the, um, the second divided by the first. So r here is 0 0.5 divided by 1 so the r is 0 0.5 for this now i will set this up on the calculator again we, we, it's gonna go to infinity okay so i have here the calculator and we will multiply 1 times 0 0.5 so that's the next term right here i will continue to multiply 0 0.5 so times 0 0.5 then it becomes 0 0.25. Then I will continue to multiply um, times, that's times 0 0.5, and then that comes out 0 0.125, times 0 0.5, and that comes out 0 0.625. Now, if I continue to multiply this by 0 0.5, be since it's going to go to infinity, now I want you to look at the value, what's going on with the value. So she can see the value becomes a certain number. So she can see here, I am continuing to multiply this by 0 0.5 because it's going to infinity. As she can see that we get more zeros. We get more zeros. Again, we get more zeros. We get more zeros right here. We get more zeros and it's it's going to go towards zero so if we multi if we continue to multiply r uh, if we continue to multiply r to each of the terms here this refers to how many times we multiply r this will eventually get closer and closer to zero we have seen that when we multiply this refers to how many times we multiply the R. So if we continue to multiply R times R, our R right here is 0 0.5. So if we continue to multiply 0 0.5, it gets closer and closer to 0. So it gets closer and closer to 0. So that means this whole thing is going to become 0. So what will be our equation then if, that, if this part right here is going to get to 0? So the equation that we can come up here would be, that would be A1 times so this becomes zero so one minus zero is just one over one minus r or we can simplify this as the s of n this is for 
um, uh, infinite geometric series. That would be a sub 1, so we don't have to write the 1 because a sub 1 times 1 is just a sub 1, over 1 minus r. And this is our equation for the sum of an infinite geometric series, provided that our r is greater than 0 and less than 1. Again, it should be less than 1 because if it's 1, then this one would, uh, this one would not work. So let's, let's take this example right here. Let's find the s of n for this. So that is a sub 1 is 1 over our uh, 1, our um, multiplier is 0 0.5. So then this would come out to be 1 over 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. 1 divided by 0 0.5 is 2. So the sum for this, if we add everything all the way to infinity, then the, the sum would be a 2. Now let's take another um, example here. So the first thing that we are going to do is to find for the r, because we're supposed to find, this is infinite, that means it doesn't stop, it goes all the way to infinity. What is the sum for this? So this would be, uh, to get the r, we are going to uh, multiply the second, I mean, divide the second divided by the first. So r is equal to 5 over 4 divided by 5. So second term divided by the first term. So remember that this one right here, has an invisible denominator of 1. Okay, and that is a complex fraction right there. So this would come out to be 5 over 4. Remember, complex fraction, we're supposed to flip the bottom and multiply across. So that would be 1 over 5. So then our R here is 5 over 20 or this can be reduced as 1 over 4. So this is our R. So um, that, that makes sense because if you multiply this by 1 fourth, so that's 5 over 4. If you multiply this 1 over 4, that's 5 over 16. And if you multiply this by 1, that's 5 times 4 is 64. So our, um, our um, R is 1 fourth. Now we're ready to solve for the sum, S of N. So the S of N here is, let me use another color of um, pen. So the S of N is equal to, first we have um, A sub 1. So the formula is A sub 1 over 1 minus R. So that means the A sub 1 is 5 divided by 1 minus one fourth. Now, as you can see, the the uh, these numbers are not the same, so we need to make their um, denominator the same by multiplying this by four over four. Okay, so this would come out five over four over four minus one fourth. So simplifying this, four minus, um, four minus one is, 3 over 4. And so remember, we this is a complex fraction. So that comes out to be 5 over invisible 1. So there's an invisible 1 on top. Times flip the bottom and multiply across. So that would be 4 over 3. So the final answer for the sum of this is 20 over Three. So this is the sum of this infinite geometric series. So even though it goes to infinity, we get the sum 20 over 3 is the total. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!